guys you are welcome back to the second part of this sketching tutorial so if you have not watched the part one just go back to my youtube channel you'll go back to my previous video and then download the part one of this particular picture where we sketch the head the beard the hair and the mustache all right so you can see tutorial on how to sketch all of that and detail the heat is that okay so if you have not watched that tutorial don't start this yet is that okay go and watch it first and then you come to this so let's continue on how to sketch our clothes all right so i decide to use a tool so that um, <clears throat> the stroke can be straight when i say stroke i mean sketch all right like you can see me doing now so i'm just setting it it's something you can do with your hand actually but i just love to use these tools you understand if you are using your hand there is every probability that you'll be more faster than using these tools all right it all depends on which of the few you consider convenient for yourself all right some people will say oh this one is convenient some people, uh, other people will say oh, no it's not so it depends on you is that okay so you sketch and then erase the areas that that uh, you don't need you can see i'm erasing my own all right so you erase it gently and then any areas where um, the strokes are not joined just join it yourself understood so as i begin to sketch then till you finish the sketching Now guys, notice what I want to do here, use your selection and then select the stroke. Do you know the reason why I want to do that? Because it is on that layer, I have done many things on it, is that okay? So I just want to let the effect to be on this one, I want to shift the stroke to where it should be, you understand? You know, if I should just click on the layer and then use, so, uh, I mean, and then use transform tool, it will affect everything on that layer. All right, but I have sketched some other thing on that layer and I only want it to affect this particular stroke. That is why I select and then use my selection. I mean, and then use my transform to you understand. Now you need to know something that some people they have issues with using um, tools that are thick, you know, to sketch. You know, well, I'm not posting this sketch alone, so that's why I make this sketch to be much more big like this. You understand? And even if I want to post it, there's no problem there. But I will have to reduce the pencil a little. Is that okay? So just notice yourself and know what works for you. Is that okay? So you can decide to use a pencil size that is more smaller than this. All right it's if you want to post this sketch is that okay but most of the time i don't post my sketches you understand so but the way i am sketching it by the time you see the outcome you will love it is that okay so just picture the hand of what you're trying to have even at the beginning of your work then you know whether your sketch should be thick or faint you understand so that's why you may see me sketching big uh, that my strokes is big this time and the other time it is small you understand so you have to picture what you're trying to achieve even before you start the work all right so enjoy the video
okay so we are sketching the tie all right so i'm trying to get a perfect shape for it but actually some areas are not matching okay let's use our selection all right i think our selection will work on this so you select it you know i've been sketching on that layer it much you understand I, this is not the only thing i sketch on the layer so that's why i use selection and then i'll adjust it to my own taste okay just try to adjust okay yeah so come to the bottom also and drag it okay click on check mark now all right so you can just erase the areas that is not still perfectly fixed and then you draw it manually understood Well, some of you can decide to sketch every stroke of that of that um, tie. Is that okay? It's not a problem, but I'm not sketching it. You see how dull the sketch is. But don't worry, I know what I'm trying to achieve, even from the beginning of the work. Okay? So just let's move on. I'm not bothering myself about sketching all the, you know, the strokes of the tie. Is that okay? Because I will eventually not need it. Like I said, I already know the end of what I'm trying to achieve, even... In the beginning you understand so i don't need to sketch it i'm going to change the tile and all of that even the code i'm going to change the fabrics i'm going to change the outcome is that okay so let's continue sketching i like can see me doing is that okay Okay guys, welcome back from that short break and then let's continue our sketching. Alright, hope you enjoyed the break. <laughs> Alright, so let's continue. Mm, yeah. So erase the areas that you don't need from the sketch. Is that okay? And erase neatly, please. Erase neatly. Okay guys, so let's continue sketching. Don't be tired. Alright, let's sketch this area. Okay, perfect. Then let's raise these areas. Guys, really, I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't just subscribe. Share this YouTube channel with others. 
before you see tutorials on youtube that will give so much like this uh, you see quality tutorials like this uh, with some little explanations you know it's not easy all right so you can already support me by sharing this youtube everywhere on every graphics groups and let your friends subscribe then you are helping me that is the only way you can help me now all right so thank you for those that have been sharing this youtube link and um, congratulations for our 500 subscribers all right so we are looking forward to 1000 subscribers in about a month now i trust you guys you can do it it's something you can do i trust you for that so let's achieve that even within two weeks i know we can do that and then we move from 1000 subscribers to 5000 subscribers and then from there to million subscribers we can do that so let's achieve it together thank you guys so just expect more quality and better tutorials from me like i said you can tell me about the kind of tutorials you want on my uh telegram channel or my whatsapp group the link are always under my video so just join and then tell me what you feel or what you would want to uh, what you want me to post on my youtube channel is that okay then definitely by god's grace if i'm not too busy with projects i'm going to do that for you trust me for that all right so let's continue sketching okay so you erase this area first with your hard razor okay yeah okay so just let it go down a little and then use your soft razor to blend the um, edge of the sketch okay perfect so just let it be in the middle okay so let's add some some of you are curious about what i'm trying to do here. it's just a uh, shadow or that shadow of that of that suit is that okay so that's what we're trying to do that's the shadow so just draw it there and then erase the areas that you don't want hope you understand so that's shadow that we're trying to do and then you can decrease the layer opacity okay i think it's good like that then you can merge it okay so before you merge any work just to be sure you are done with everything you want to do on it then you can merge but well even if you merge there are still some things we can do about it but yet i would not advise you to do that now not until you are better in heat is that okay so let's sketch the the hair all right and then the remaining parts So sketching the glasses guys you need a lot of patience a lot a lot is that okay because you need to be careful the the size of the stroke you use to sketch and then you must be sure any frames is not cut away all right because glasses can easily be deformed easily all right so you need to be careful you can you can do your best by trying to create a new one 
trying to trace the kind of glasses there is easy to, to to destroy it and it's easy to make it beautiful so you just need to be careful and then make sure you follow the pattern correctly is that okay like the pattern <clears throat> you can see me doing now so you to just follow it and then do your whole is that okay Love, I just love to use my tool in this area, all right, you know, so that it can be easy for me to sketch out that area. I hope you understand. So, let's see, okay, bring it to the other side here also, and then use it to sketch it so that the curve can be perfect. You understand. Okay, so I think we are drawn done. Okay, we still have one side left for the frame of the glasses. All right, so let's let's sketch that out also. Well, to make things easier for yourself, you can decide to reduce the opacity of your picture. You understand, so that you can see where your sketch is showing. All right, so you can even do that from the beginning, ever before you start sketching. So that you can see every details of what you're sketching all right even through the picture you understand so that you can know if you are drawing on the picture itself or you're drawing rightly and then you know whether it is drawn correctly you reduce the opacity you know, because the uh, glasses itself is dark the pic uh, the picture itself is not so bright you understand so just and even if you don't want to reduce the opacity you can just duplicate the your layer your picture layer right and then you put the one on top then mode to screen all right then it will still have the same purpose so let's draw the inward part of these glasses So just dress up the glasses all right i think we are done with the sketch just dress it up so that no angle is showing all right let's see okay so i think our glasses is well sketched out so just subscribe to this youtube channel and then share these videos with others share the link so that they can benefit also from heat so thank you guys for watching this video um the third part of this particular um, picture tutorial is coming soon so just stay tuned